Hello. In this session, we're going to mark our um, buttons and buttonholes. All the buttons, um, so all the buttonholes start 1.5 from the front edge of your um, code. So I'm just going to mark with my um, with my chalk. So 1.5. So it's easy if you do that. So from the edge of your code. Okay, so it's just um, before your um, center front. Okay, like that. So, can you see the lines? Yeah, that's it. So, the first buttonhole starts on the chest line. Okay, so I'm going to mark my buttonhole in chalk. So, that starts. Um, yeah, so that's my first buttonhole. This, the length of the buttonhole is depends on your um, how big your buttons. So you need to measure your buttons to know the length. Okay. So here's my first buttonhole. The last buttonhole is you need to calculate. You can take it that measurement from your pattern if you've got your pattern with you. So you take the measurements and you measure from the waist, and then you measure the last. Uh, where the position of the, your button holds, yeah? So you can place your button and then you can transfer that and measure that. If you don't have your um, button with you, you can take the formula from my instructions. And the formula is, so if I just said, so the measurements between chest and the waistline, so chest and the waist, so that's why I ask you to keep the waist and the chest position so you know exactly what, before. So formula is chest to the waist, so that distance divided by seven. So yours one depends on your size of your um, mannequin and the length of your mannequin, how big your mannequin is, that could vary. So there will be um, different. So when I calculated mine, so I measured so between chest and the waist, my is 20 centimeters. So 20 centimeters, I divided by seven and I ended up with 2.8. So then I measure 2.8 from my waist up. So that will be my last buttonhole, position of my last buttonhole. Okay, so again, um, distance between chest and the waist divided by seven and then the measurements you will receive measure from the waist up. So my one is 2.8, yours one could be different. So please, you know, make sure you calculate your own one. So it's quite easy to do that. Okay, so I measured and that would be my last buttonhole. Again, um, the width of the buttonhole is the, the length of the buttonhole depends on your button. So I put one inch for now because I don't have buttons um, with me, but um, you can, you know, if you have a buttons, then you can obviously um, measure. Now, the third buttonhole is, would be in the between those two um, buttonholes. So you measure the distance between those two, which is um, 17 centimeters, divided by two, and then you will receive um, you would know exactly when is your middle buttonhole. There we go. Okay, so you measure that divided by two, and then you will have the um, half half of that distance. You find where is your um, middle buttonhole. Okay. Again, I'm just going to mark um, one inch at the moment. So that's my um, buttonholes. So it's important that you um, transfer those buttonholes, buttonholes. And usually you do, usually the buttonholes, depends how they're making it. So if you're using um, a special machine, you will, um, you will mark them on inside your buttonholes, okay? And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to mark them through top, okay? So better to show you that way, sorry. So you start through all the layers, you mark 
that. And then you go to right where your buttonhole finished, that way. Then you go one side and then go to another side like that to create a T-shape. T -shape. You see that? So now I created the T-shape when the buttonhole's finished and the length of the buttonhole. Okay, so that way you know where your buttonhole. So I'm going to stop that and I'm going to do the others. I'm going to show you one more time. So again, as I said, depends how you're doing your buttonhole. Sometimes you're doing it from the front and you need to mark, mark you from the front if you're doing it by hand. So you go through all the layers so you can see right to the end of your buttonhole. Like that. And then create one centimeter either side. So it became like a, a T shape and then you secure. Yeah. If you look that side, so now we've got two buttonholes here. Okay. I'm just going to do the last one so you can see it. Again, different tailors, different makers will do different ways. That's how I do it. So right from the end. Go through all the layers to the another end of your buttonhole, and then you mark like a T shape on each side like that. Yeah, so you can see that. So it's great straight away across with one side and another side. So that way you do have on, like on the both side if you do need to have. Um, change the the how you're going to do your buttonholes now when that is done so lots of chalk marks so it's good for you if you are to clean that and uh, and for this one it's nice if you use um if you use just the same fabric the wool fabric um st still stimulate but you that wool fabric and then you can brush it off the chalk okay the next part would be marking your buttons so it's quite important how you do that as well the buttons always goes on top of your coat so they don't have to go through um, so I'm going to mark the position of the buttons and they usually go uh, and directly on um, across with your buttonhole and with your center front so that's very very important so I'm just going to take this out so it's not in the way um, so they goes that cross those two lines. That would be the position of your buttonhole. And what I usually do, if I still doesn't have a buttonhole, sometimes this happens when you are uh, making something for the film and you have to send it off and you don't have a buttonhole. So you mark the position where they are going so the people on the other side can apply them um, the buttons straight away. So. Now, what usually I do as I place as a cross in that area. So it, when the red and the white line go through, so that point there, cross. So that's where they meet the um, buttonhole and the center front. That's where the button will go. And what I do, just create a little cross inside like that. So I'm, going, I'm using um, green thread so you can see better. And that's where that, I'm not uh, even securing that thread because so in order to be easy to take it off. Okay, so you do exactly the same with this one. So go from one angle to another angle to create a cross. I don't go through all the layers, so it's only one layer so and then create a cross there we go that's exactly where my button will go now go through
There we go. Okay. So when you've done that and you're absolutely happy with this, what I'm going to do, just going to take my tacking out so you can see the final result. I love this um, time when you can take your tacking, isn't it? It's, it's amazing. It looks so good. There we go. Okay. So, and that's the position of my buttons and the buttonholes. So that's what exactly I would like you to do so you know how to measure and how to mark. So yeah, please do that for, for your kids so you know by place. And um, in the next one session, I'm going to show you how to mark the buttonholes on your sleeve. See you, bye.